what's going on guys it's Alexa back with another video today I'm gonna to be doing just a quick little simple install where I'm gonna be changing out the interior lights for my 2011 Jeep Wrangler um, so here's where the light socket actually is as you guys can tell when I open the door those are the yellow type boring little um, interior lights I think this is the only area in the Jeep where I actually have lighting so because of that the lighting is already really poor so um, in order to improve that I would like to go ahead and change those out into LED lights when I checked for LEDs on Amazon this was the kit that I ordered this was about uh, $10 actually on Amazon and it said it will work well with uh, any Jeep Wrangler I believe 2007 and up um, there were a few just a couple mixed reviews um, some people said it didn't work but they said if it didn't if you flip it around backwards then it should work then so I'm curious to see if it works um, like I said it was only ten dollars so if it doesn't I'll look for something else um, I'll try to uh, include the link in the video if you guys want to try these out yourselves it'll be in the description below so um, it really don't give you anything other than this little installation tip guide See, if it doesn't light up, flip it 180 degrees and it'll correct the polarity. So, yeah, that's that's all they give you. So, these um, they give you extra in, just in case one of them blows out or something doesn't work. So, I thought that was pretty cool that they give you extra ones. They have some that can go with your license plate light in the very back. So, I'm going to be changing that out as well. So, I wanted to do it in the daylight so you guys can see. And then I'll show you the results of before and after. Um... So it should be a very simple install. I just have a screwdriver to help pop out the housing and then we're just going to go ahead and plug these in and see how it looks. So I hope you guys are able to see, but I'm going to go ahead and take the screwdriver, pop out the housing. There's four little clips, and I'm just taking a screwdriver to kind of pry it out of place. There we go. Okay. So the problem is, out of this pack, I don't know which bulbs go where. So, so see, it looks like they give me two different types. It just says, dear friend, if the product cannot fit your car or it makes you unsatisfied, please do contact us for a refund before your feedback in case. Please give us an opportunity to satisfy you. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is, this is all they show you. Not much. So, so we're going to guess <laughs> which one goes where. This is what the bulb looks like itself. It's pretty tiny. So we're gonna see which one of these properly fits. Okay, those are out finally. Looks like these ones are probably gonna be the trick. So just gonna slide one in. Those are in. So let's see if it works. Okay. Look at that. They work. Check it out. Oh, that looks really good, you guys. Once I was done fighting, uh, getting the old bulbs off, these slid in right in this place. So, and just to put the housing back on, all you got to do is just um, clip it right back in its place. Done. Get that. All 
right, let's see if we can uh, knock out this uh, license plate light too. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how good that looks. Man, can't wait to see it at night. All right guys, so I had to look up how to take this out. So you pinch these two, pull down, and this comes out. And then for the housing, you should be able to twist, and it comes out. This is why I gotta look this stuff up. I would have broke something. So, take the bulb out. All right, so I realized with the tail light, I thought this was gonna have a place for it. Um, maybe this is for a different model of Jeep Wrangler, but this one should be able to fit the housing. So we're gonna see if it works. So I'm just gonna slide it in just like the last bulbs. Ooh. That one's a little bit harder to fit. back in the housing. I'm going to make sure it actually works. Huzzah! And it works. Sweet! All right, let me go ahead and hook it back up. You just clip these back in. Right, guys I'm actually standing next to our Christmas wreath so you guys can see my face in the light <laughs> it's actually a uh, Christmas Eve where I'm recording this so I hope you all had a uh, safe and happy holidays by the time you see this video but since it's nice and dark at only 6 p.m. we're gonna go check the uh, the status of the interior lights and the license plate light so let's check it out there's our little stock light bulb As you guys can see not too bright I know the camera kind of over exaggerate some stuff boom look at that go inside look at how much more of the interior I can see but there it is looks great I can see so much more now in here and I love it I know the camera only does it with so much justice um, but I, I promise you guys it's a lot brighter in here now and I'm so happy for that like I said this is the only light source inside of the Jeep that I have so uh, we're going to see how the license plate light looks. Let's look at the rear license plate light. Not very bright either. There we go. Nice and bright too. I'm actually going to be getting a customized license plate soon, so <laughs> I'll have a better reason to illuminate that, but looks a lot better. I like it. It goes with the interior light, which you guys can see from here. It'll match even my headlights and fog lights too, if you guys can see. Look at that. That will be nice and bright coming down the road. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So as I said, this was only $10 on Amazon. I'll provide the link in the description below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. Um, hopefully they last a while, but if they don't, I do have two extra um, LED strips in the kit that they gave me. So if they don't last very long, I'll be sure to change it out. But um, as I said, very happy with it. Um, I really like how it looks. Um, it makes everything look a little bit newer so um, I'm not really a fan of the yellow interior lights I ended up changing out the interior lights in my Camaro SS as well because those were kind of yellow and I didn't like the way it looked it looked kind of old so I know it's only a 2011 Jeep Wrangler and my Camaro's 2010 but makes it look a lot newer so uh, I really like the look let me know what you guys think um, this was a very easy install um, didn't take me long I did have to look up videos of how to remove some of the housing in the lights to make sure I didn't break anything but other than that it was pretty easy once I knew what I was doing so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying the content I do post twice a week so there's always something cool for you to watch so thank you guys again for watching and I will see y'all next time take care